country are flooding the new territories on the frontier. Each becomes a battleground. Will it be slave owning or free? It comes to a head in Kansas. A peaceful protest turns violent. One man will stop at nothing to abolish slavery. John Brown, a folk hero in the North, a terrorist to the South. He thinks he's fighting a holy war. He believes himself to be God's chosen instrument. He will murder for his cause. John Brown is one of those controversial figures about whom almost anything you can say is true. He's a terrorist in our modern terms. He's a revolutionary. October 1859. Passionate in his hatred of slavery, Brown prepares to take the fight into the heart of the South. His plan, to capture the federal arsenal at Harper's Ferry, Virginia. The biggest collection of weapons in the South. 20,000 rifles, muskets, and pistols. Worth almost $7 million today. He wants to arm Southern slaves lead a slave rebellion. He's fighting alongside his five sons, all of them willing to die for their cause. The arsenal is poorly defended. Breaking in is a pushover. But his raid is based on local slaves rising up and joining the fight. He needs a small army to carry off so many weapons. Without slave reinforcements, it's a suicide mission. Word gets out and local townsfolk attack the arsenal. Not a single slave joins Brown and his men. They are trapped fighting for their lives. I want to free all Negroes in the state. I have possession of the United States Armory. And if the citizens interfere with me, I must only burn the town and have blood. At dawn, the U.S. Marines arrive. They storm the arsenal under the command of Colonel Robert E. Lee. Activates the country. Charged as a criminal, he puts the institution of slavery on trial. America is fatally divided. Brown is convicted of treason and sentenced to death. A terrorist in the South, a martyr in the North. He's executed on December 2nd, 1859. As the country prepares to elect a new president in 1860, many wonder if the nation can survive. I, John Brown, am now quite certain that the crimes of this guilty land will never be purged away, but with blood. <laughs> 